Hi, I'm Carrie, and I'm an accountant. And I'm her boyfriend, Mike. I'm a high school teacher. My daughter, Kelly, is beautiful, adventurous, and ambitious. There's just one ugly problem. Yeah! Her boyfriend is a dumb This is Kelly. She's dating Dave. They've been together for two years, and Kelly's hearing wedding bells. But her parents think Dave is a ding-dong. So they're setting Kelly up on two blind dates with guys they've each chosen just for her. If you think this is hard for Kelly, imagine how much it's going to suck for Dave when he sits down with her parents and they watch the dates together. Have you ever heard of the Mile High Kiss Club? What the f You're gone! You're gone, buddy. At the end of the day, Kelly will have to decide which guy she wants to keep seeing, her boyfriend Dave or one of the new guys her parents have selected for her. Kelly's about to have a date with parental control. My boyfriend's name is Dave. He's hilarious, spontaneous, and an amazing kisser. First of all, Dave is always bullying Kelly. Oh, you need, okay. Sorry, no. Pushing her and tripping her. And farting on her. Is that even funny? No, that's gross. And Dave is such a loser, the only person that'll high-five him is himself. Anything he does, he high-fives himself. What a beautiful day. Hey, Dave, I'll high-five you myself once you get the hell out of my daughter's life. Okay. And Dave would just as soon sit inside all day long playing Madden than do anything with Kelly. There we go, babe. Touchdown. Yeah, he has to live out all his football fantasies in the game because he sucks in real life. And Dave's always taking off his shoes and leaving them everywhere. And that's not the worst. His feet smell so bad, he leaves a trail of stank through the whole house. And worst of all, Dave doesn't just say thank you. He burps thank you. Thanks. Thanks. That boy is one big bag of gas. Oh, he's a bag of something, all right. All right, Dave, your time is up. I hope you took a picture of Kelly, because you're never going to see her again. Now it's time for Mom and Michael to meet the potential blind dates for Kelly. Hi, how's it going? Chase. I'm Steven. I'm Tyler. Mike. Hey, I'm Scott. Have a seat. What do you do for a living? I work for a structural engineering firm. I'm a lifeguard. I work at 24 Hour Fitness. I mean, if you couldn't tell. I'm a game tester. I uh, play video games every day. I'm a hairdresser. I am a student at UC Irvine. I work at REI. I'm a camp counselor for a day camp. I'm a bill collector. <laughs> really? Yeah, so I pride in college I house before. <laughs> My daughter loves baseball. I'm going to pitch the ball to you, knock it out of the park, and show us your celebration. All right. Yeah. What's the most romantic thing you've ever done? Just had a picnic. Just rent a video and just stand. A weekend in San Diego. Massage your feet. Every woman loves a good foot massage. Am I right? You're right. I covered her driveway and her stairs and all the way up to her room in rose petals. Aw. Bailed a girl out of jail. Yikes. I let my girlfriend shave my armpits. Took whipped cream and chocolate and put her name and put I heart you. I've done that. Mm. Your body's an instrument. Let me hear you play a song. Okay. Here, okay. Go something like this. Walla, wa wa wa. Next question. 
Our daughter's boyfriend is obsessed with video games. What are you obsessed with? Snowboarding, going to the mountain, working out. Mirrors. Surfing. Online shopping. Dirt bikes and chicks. Dance parties. Excuse me? Definitely obsessed with my hair. Reading in a porn. Manscaping. Ah. Did you say landscaping? No, manscaping. manscaping. Did you do anything special? There's nothing there. It's bald. Whoa. Why should we pick you to date our daughter? I'm a gentleman at heart. Because I'm a good guy, I'm a nice person, and I'm a champion. Because I'll treat your daughter like a princess. Nice. I'm respectful, loyal, and funny. I'll sweep her off her feet, and a boyfriend out the door. Good answer. I'm loyal, I'm athletic. Because I'm a real jewel. Because in the living room, I have manners. But in the bedroom, I'll spank her like she stole something from my mama. Well, it was nice to meet you. Thank you very much. You guys have a nice day. Really? All right, decision time. I like that guy. That guy's got style. He's OK, but I like this guy much better. He's perfect for Kelly. Dave is toast. Burnt toast. So here's what's up. My mom and Michael hate my boyfriend, Dave. So they each are setting me up on a blind date. Michael's picks up first, and he's a little nerdy, so I have no idea what to expect. I'm actually excited about this date. Why? I'm excited to meet someone nerdier than you are. You're a <laughs> Hey, nerd, live long and die. Thank goodness. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? Come on in. All right. I picked Seth because he's active and he's the complete opposite of Dave. This is the beautiful Kelly. How's it going, Kelly? I'm respectful, loyal, and funny. And this is idiot Dave. What's up, Dave? When I first saw Seth, all I could look at were his giant horse teeth. All right, Kelly, ready to go? Yeah. Have fun going to the gym lifting weights, Kel. <laughs> yeah. You are so out of here. Seth looks Bill, I'm really excited. Good job, Michael. Kelly and Seth are off on a high-flying adventure, while Ma, Michael, and Dave get to watch it all go down right from the living room. Dave, you want to see how a real man does it? How would you even know? I'm so done with you. Why are we at an airport? I'm going to take you sightseeing. Around an airport? Yeah, I'm going to take you on a biplane. Oh! Hey, Dad, are you biplane curious? Let's yeah. get geared up. Okay, perfect. Hi, guys. How you doing? Sir. I'm Captain Nick. Hi, nice Kelly. You. Hey, Kelly. I'm your pilot today. Captain Nick? That's what I call my penis. You want to see the captain? Salute the captain. Smack the captain. Ready to go flying? Sure. All right. Put these on. Thank you. This sure does seem like a lot of straps for a sightseeing tour. Oh, I didn't tell you. We're going on a stunt plane. What? We're going to go up and do a couple of loops and some flips. I'd like to see some flips. Get it? Flip? It's very clever. Don't get the wrong idea. I usually don't like girls in my cockpit area the first time I take them out. Looks like I'm a lucky girl, then. What? <laughs> You'll be lucky when you get home. Make me a sandwich. She may never come back. Yeah! I love the view from up here. The view without you. Wow. It looks like fun. Close your mouth, Dad. You're drooling. No, 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 but seriously, close your mouth. You're drooling. I can smell your stomach from here. Whatever. Have you ever heard of the Mile High Fist Club? What? No, I haven't. What the f You're gone, douchebag. You're gone, buddy. So can I show you a good time or what? Yeah, seriously, best first day ever. That was amazing, huh? <laughs> yeah, that was so cool. Look at that smile. She is in love with this guy. What was the funnest day your boyfriend has ever taken you on? 
Well, one time we were having a really good time. We were like trash bagging in my backyard. Trash bagging? It's like you cover yourself in trash bags and then slide across the grass. It's like a big slip and slide. Is that why they call them hefty trash bags? Hefty, hefty, hefty. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. It was fun until he um, literally took a dump in the backyard. God, you're an animal. It's fertilizer. You're welcome. Ew. So what's your like life goal? Hopefully, someday become a lawyer. Uh, I want to be a physical therapist. So, physical therapist? Yeah. You know why she wants to be a doctor? Because I taught her how to play doctor. All right, well, I had a lot of fun with you, but unfortunately, I got to get you home. All right, OK. All right. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Great date. That's my girl. She's so over you. She's going to be under me in a little bit. Oh. That date with Seth was amazing. He literally had me head over heels. My mom chick is up next, and she knows me really well, so I have no doubts that she picked someone amazing. <coughs> oh, charming. I, Kelly, I can't believe you continue to date this loser. Mom, you don't see the other side. It can't be any different. Oh, it's different. Oh. Come on, I love this girl. Oh, thank God my guy is here. Hi, nice to see you. Hi. Come on in. Thanks. I picked Chase because he's sweet, genuine, and Kelly really likes tall guys. Chase, you remember Mike? Of course. Hey, how's it going, Chase? Good, how are you? Good. And this is my beautiful daughter, Kelly. Of course. I'm a good guy. I'm a nice person. Everybody likes me. And this is the lump of we're trying to get rid of. Mr. Personality, huh? Nice wig. When I saw Chase, I thought, well, at least I can use his head to clean up the bathroom floor. Kelly, you ready to go? Yeah. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. When I first saw Chase, I was like, Mom, you are a good woman. Kelly and Chase are off for some sexy surf action, while Mom, Michael, and Dave are back at the house, ready to see how things unfold. Dave, why don't you just leave right now? Why don't you just pack her up and kiss my backside? She is going to be so much better off without you. What we're actually doing today is stand-up paddleboarding. Oh, have, sweet. Have you ever Very been? Very nice. No. <laughs> That's too bad. Uh, why not? The boyfriend. You might want to try a real sport and get some muscles. I already got the only muscle that counts, and it gets plenty of workout. Your sphincter? Good one, Mike. Okay. You ready? Yep. Cool, let's go. Okay. Ooh, you are active. Look, he's all smooth like a Ken doll. He's got a great body. You're just jealous. And you're just jello. <laughs> oh, <I'm> <laughs> there you go. Cool, let's go. Okay. You look awesome in a wetsuit. Thank you. This guy better stop checking out my girl. I'm going to beat his ass. Beat his ass? You're not playing Madden. So what's your boyfriend's name? Dave. So how tall is he? He says he's 6'4", but he's definitely like 6'2". Uh, I got a couple inches on him. Bigger's better, right? Yeah, I guess so, right? Oh, really? This guy could use an oar to the face. <laughs> this is this is boring. I'm going to come over there. <laughs> Am I going to fall in? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Ready? We make a good team. Bigger waves in the toilet after I drop a deuce. You ready to get a snack? Yeah, sure. Kelly's having a miserable time. Oh, you can tell by the smile on she her face how the miserable. Water. What would you know about a great time? You're here with Squidwordle. Well, today I brought smoothies for us. Ooh. You should have brought a comb. Man, her boobs look great. Good job, Mom. Mm, good. good. Yeah, good decision. <laughs> Bet you those coconuts remind you of hers. Brown and hairy. Ow. 
Ow. Ow. So if you wanted any aloe or sunscreen rubbed all over you, would you want me or your boyfriend? Or who would you want <laughs> to do that? Well, anyway. right now, probably you. Yeah? Yeah. What? As a matter of fact, I have some sunscreen right here. Oh, look at you, all prepared. Better not touch my girl. <laughs> all right, you can touch her shoulders. The boobs, those are mine. So what have you and your boyfriend done that your parents don't know about? My mom knows everything. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Give it up. Soak it up. Come on, mom doesn't know everything. Well, we don't do very much. She, she sees everything. We just sit and play video games. You know, if it was us, we would have some secrets. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want secrets in your house? Secrets don't make friends. OK. So did you have fun today? Yeah, I did, actually. Thank you. Good. I had a great time. But unfortunately, I probably have to get you back to your parents. OK. I think they'd appreciate it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Good day. Yay! Oh, Dave, no. No, 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 no. no. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh. Uh, oh. Put him back on, Dave. Oh, man, absolute on. pork. Cool. We'll oh, here. Dave, just oh, put your Dave. shoes on. Oh. I just got back from my date with Chase, and I knew I had a lot of fun because I didn't even care that I got my hair wet. Decision time. I have to pick between three amazing guys. I truly have no idea what I'm gonna do. This really sucks. Now it's time for Kelly to make a decision. Will she pick Seth, the guy who sent her heart flying? Or Chase, the sexy surf stud? Or will she choose Dave, her boyfriend of two years and the guy her parents can't stand? Hey guys, it all comes down to this, decision time. And I think I know who I want, but I'm going to give you one last chance to tell me why I should pick you. Kelly, choose me, because I took your breath away once, and I know I can do it again. Kelly, I'm the one for you, because I'm the most fun, I can make you happy, and I'm the tallest. Kel, you got to stay with me. I always make you laugh, and you know I'll treat you great. Thanks, guys. That was all really sweet. But I still have to get rid of one of you right now. Seth, it was a great ride. But your ride ends here. I have to ask you to leave. I guess it's a crash and burn for me. It didn't matter I didn't get picked. I like brunettes anyways. Now the hard part. Chase, I love your surfer's body, but I'm afraid you might be a little too shy for me. And Dave, I will always love you, but I want to be treated like a girlfriend, not a kid sister. So I've made my decision, and the guy I choose is... Get out of my face. Do you hear that? What? That's the sound of Dave's hands not clapping. I really liked our first date, but the water was way too still. Don't worry, babe. I'll show you the motion of the ocean next time. <laughs> <laughs>